Oh my, what are you doing here? You know you're never supposed to approach a man who's managing his cauldron. It's baby blood, you know. That's what I use. Uh, the blood is extracted from all around. It helps with <laughs> aging, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> that was an Accutane, baby. You can tell by the smell. This batch is ruined. What am I going to use all this blood for now? Day zero, hour zero. This is my solution. And it doesn't involve a one hose solution. Because in a one hose solution, we will add multiple different points where the blood can leave. But as we pump air in, blood wants to leave mostly through the entry point. So as more blood gets lost, as we move through the tube, we have less and less blood. Meaning that we won't get the effect we wanted. By the end, it'll just be a slow trickle. My solution involves attaching a bunch of different hoses to a fixed point, hoses all of equal length, attaching them to a hose that's attached to the air compressor right up there. The air compressor blows air in, all of the holes are an equal distance apart. In this solution, we'll need more air to push blood out, but all of the holes will have equal pressure. It'll look like I literally exploded out of a hundred different holes. It's gonna be pretty sick. Hello, this is later in the day type stuff. Uh, look at this monstrosity I've created. I've been hot gluing all of these little tubes together. I'm just trying to seal up all the edges and then push them down. And then I'm gonna connect the tube here that will go to the pump. All the pressure release points are going to be equidistant. It's looking... I left this for like 30 minutes and it looks way better than I remember leaving it, honestly. It's day two and my original game plan is not coming to fruition. I was thinking that I was going to create an adapter out of hot glue that will take all eight of these different little ropes here and condense them down so that they can fit into the size of this little thing. And that's just not gonna work. And now I realize that I can just develop and design an adapter myself. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And that's day two. First, I'm gonna cut this off. A fresh start. The Tube Taker 9000 is on the press. This little dongle apparatus I made is what's going to hold all of the tubes together. The holes are a little bit bigger than a perfect fit and I thought I would be able to overcome that with super glue. That was not the case. I have re-glued each of these tubes multiple times since the filming of this. I figured out that you're supposed to put the glue on the inside and then insert the tube and oh my god, does it like this? This is, this is so gross. Let's move on, let's move on. This is the air pressure tube that I'm connecting to the top. And here's the money shot. Look at that baby, spin around it, spin around it some more. Yeah. It's looking good. And now, just like before, we cap the ends, this time with hot glue instead of bolts because I didn't want to spend any more money. It worked anyway. And then we just cut little holes into the sides of them. I decided to make a jumpsuit with sticky Velcro. So I got some Velcro, got me a shirt, and now I'm putting the Velcro on the shirt and then wrapping Velcro around 
the, each of the tubes and then cutting holes in them so that they still have a place where the blood can get out whenever it sprays all over my future body. The moment is here, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the final stretch. As I'm filling up my apparatus with blood of all kinds, ruined, ruined by the Accutane baby, but put to new use in my body. I've put on the apparatus, and we've had a costume malfunction, now I look like a Grecian. But it's okay, we're still filling this puppy up. It's getting on my back. It's kinda spilling, but it's kinda not too. There's still some hope left. Look at the blood drain down into my manufactured veins. I have expertly crafted this device to handle all types of blood that it can, and it is going to spray far and wide. Okay, I'm setting up my position. Here is the final money shot. Hello, and welcome to Post Trauma, the section of the video where we reckon with our failures. It didn't work that well, and how are we gonna be okay with that? A great solace that my mind has conjured up is that I don't have to deal with it anymore, and I can just move on. The first money shot was actually not recorded, because my phone overheated while I was recording it. That sucks donkey. I'm done. Subscribe to my channel.